What's up? This is Alex, DJ Couch King. So a couple of months ago, I got really into modding my portable turntables, and I thought, how portable can I get? I wanted to see if it was possible to run my Serato DVS from an iPod. I got it working, and in this video, I'm going to show you how. <laughs> First thing you'll need is some kind of portable turntable. Mine are pretty tricked out. I've put new tone arms, start stop buttons, aluminum platters, all that. You're also going to need some kind of audio interface to send the time code signal to the iOS device. I'm using the Akai AMX and this is a pretty sweet little mixer. EQ, filters, a browse knob so you can go through your library on the iPod. Pretty awesome little setup. You're going to need some kind of self-powered USB hub like this one. I got it from Amazon. It's the Amazon brand. It's got a spot for its own power adapter. This is important. You'll also need an Apple USB camera connection kit. And finally, you'll need some kind of iOS device. An iPod will work, an iPhone will work, and you can use an iPad too. You'll also need to download the DJ Player Pro app from the App Store. It's a free app to download. In order to use the full DVS capability, you will need to pay for the subscription. The app is cloud-based, so you can store your music in the cloud, and if you're using something like an iPhone that has access to data, you'll be able to access your music anywhere. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna show you how I set this up and how I got it working. So there's a couple things I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video. First one being a phone battery pack. Should note that it should have at least 2.1 amps on the output. You'll also need a USB to DC cable. I got one with uh, interchangeable ends. So now that I got that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and set up this whole rig so you can see how it works. I'm gonna take my USB hub and plug that into the battery bank. Next, I'm going to plug in the iPod. Then I'm gonna take a regular USB cable, plug it into the USB hub, and plug that into the mixer. The iPod itself is not enough to power the mixer, but the self-powered USB hub powered by the battery bank is enough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the turntables. Now that I've got the turntables hooked up, I'm gonna go ahead and open the DJ Player app. And the first thing I'm gonna do inside the DJ Player Pro app is hit the little cog wheel for settings and press DVS. Now I can go ahead and turn the turntables on and I'm gonna check the strength of the signal going to DJ Player Pro. Halfway up is about perfect. This cable is RCA on one end and has a regular headphone jack on the other end so I can plug into the aux input on my speaker. So as you can see, this is about probably as portable as you can get. Everything on this table right now is battery powered. All the tracks are running off of the iPod. It's seeing the DVS control. The latency is really great. The innofader on this is really awesome. This is all default mapped in DJ Player Pro. I didn't have to map any of these knobs. The EQs, the filters, the browse button, everything just works the second you plug it in. So this is a really awesome setup. If you have any questions about this setup, if I missed anything, feel free to holler at me in the comments. Thanks for checking out this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you don't like this video, tell me why in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. Also, I'm gonna put a link to all the stuff I'm using in this video in the description below. So check that out if you're interested in setting up something like this for yourself. Peace.